Hurricane Lee, of course, is the talk of the state, even if its impacts in Maine are days away. Still, state officials say now is the time to prepare. Governor Janet Mills, the Maine Emergency Management Agency, and the Coast Guard all released guidance today ahead of this weekend. FEMA has several tips. Be prepared to go several days without power, meaning check your supply of food, water, and medicine. Testing generators is also a good idea and no local evacuation routes. In a statement, Governor Mills writes in part, we urge Maine people to exercise caution and to take common sense steps to ensure they have all they need to stay safe as the storm draws closer moving into the weekend. Hurricane Lee is definitely going to put a damper on any outdoor plans this weekend. The National Park Service is already planning to close several areas of Acadia National Park on Friday. But some are actually looking forward to the high surf likely to come with the storm. And that is some first responders worried. Here's New Center Maine's David Guilford. This is Kettle Cove in Cape Elizabeth, and we hit beaches as we drove along the coast this afternoon. Now, Hurricane Lee, of course, still looms somewhere out there, though if you ask the right person along our coast, they'll tell you it's already starting to reach our shore. Gloomy skies and surfs up in Kennebunk. Nearby, workers removed signs that might blow in severe winds to come. And on Scarborough Beach, Alex Miller had the waves to himself Wednesday morning. About to go get some more. In from California this month visiting family, he hasn't experienced surfers sense for the weather. There's some fun ones, yeah. There's some front runners coming in from a hurricane, so it's lowly, but there's some, some fun smooth waves coming in. People can get in serious trouble and there might not be the response to help them. Greg Wilfert manages Scarborough Beach State Park. He's preparing for the worst. I imagine uh, with the uh, size of the waves, it's going to be slapping the dunes. So there won't be much of a beach at any beaches. Billia, we'll get through it. Kathleen Billings is Stonington's town manager and harbor master. Down East Maine is expected to get the worst effects in the state this weekend. There's not much surfing, but a lot of working waterfront. Can't really go out there when it's rough waters doing much fixing. All you can do is just batten down everything that you can do or get everything up on shore. Back in Scarborough, Miller said he'll be out here again Saturday, sizing up the swell. Excited to see it. I've never been in a hurricane before, so uh, the waves are definitely forecast to be big, and I don't think they'll be surfable, but I'll be here just in case. Rip currents are highly possible this weekend and can quickly pull a swimmer out to sea. Wilford would much prefer Miller stay on shore or home. That's my biggest concern is because once you're sucked out, you're going to be into those waves and there's a good chance you're not making it in. Now, Wilford said he's been thinking a lot about the perfect storm that hit New England in 1991 that, of course, inspired a book and a movie. He's hoping for a brighter Hollywood ending this time around. In Cape Elizabeth, David Guilford, New Center, Maine. Now we will continue to watch Hurricane Lee as it moves north. Our weather team is closely tracking the storm and what people in Maine can expect this weekend. And our news team will help get you prepared with expert advice and guidance. Get all the latest by downloading our free New Center, Maine app. It's free in your app store.